and here we will learn how we can import a product from eBay. So simply click on e-commerce management then drop shipping and here we go to eBay drop shipping and now here in this area where it says search product any product you're gonna search here that product will appear in this area. Let's say you wanna sell t-shirt and then I click on search product. So now here you can see thousands of t-shirt appear. Here's some very important function we need to understand which is you can see here the buying price which is you are buying this product is £6.99 and then you are selling this product is £7.33. Actually who is deciding that selling price? You can decide that selling price. Here you can see in the right hand side the price setting. If you click on price setting then you can see here the increased eBay price is only 5%. So if you make it 50% and then click on update now you go back to add eBay product and then just search the same t-shirt. Then you can see the same t-shirt is buying price shows £9.99 and selling price shows £14.98. This is how you can change the pricing. So here you can see another one important factor which is the detail. If you just bring your mouse cursor on top of the detail button and hover over, no need to click. Then you can see some important detail came up which is the sold item, watching, shipping and availability. That how many product before this seller has been sold on eBay. And also how many people are watching right now and shipping is there any shipping cost involved or not and then availability that how many product is available at this moment so specifically this seller you can see here that 563 item available but 480 of them they already sold that means that 580 will be minus from the total available number so that will be the final stop so with this information actually you will know that how popular is this product and how many item is available. So as an example let's say you added some product and there is only 10 available or 5 available. Then once you added in your shop then the eBay seller sold out before you. So you are ending up with wasting time even some time money because you added the product and you run a Facebook campaign and during this time product is gone. So this stock is really, really important. So after viewing this all information, if you think this is the right product for you to sell, just simply you click on save button. And once I click on the save button, you will see this pop up and say, okay. Now you can see that before you added this product, the button called save, now it called update. That means this product already into your system. Now similarly you can just repeat this process. Not only that you actually can multiple product add in the same time. You just simply click on the checkbox like this and then you can click on import selected. Then the multiple product will be imported from eBay to your website. So now we saved the eBay product into our website but there is still some work need to be done. So now let's go back to the admin panel again. Here you can see one big yellow button after you add the product that says eBay product. If I click on eBay product then you can see here that this product is just imported from eBay. Now this product by default is inactive. That means this product do not show into our shop front. So how we can active this product? You can see here one button called update from eBay. If you click on update from eBay, you can see here all the detail. This pricing related matter already set up automatically. So now here we can see estimated delivery. Estimated delivery, it means that when your customer, if buy from your website, when they can expect to have this product, so we set up here one button you can see product original link if you click on the product original link it will take you to the ebay shop now when you are in the ebay shop 
you can see here the estimated delivery which is 5th of May or 9th of May. So here you can see that how long time it will take to be delivered. So now if you just simply go back to your admin panel and now here you can say 7 to 14 business days. And now here you can see the WhatsApp phone number email. It means that the way you are allowing your customer to contact with you. So if you just click on the checkbox, any of this or all of this, that media will be shown on your product listing. So now here you can see the global shipping. It's a global shipping not allowed. We are shipping in United Kingdom. So everything looks fine. If you want to add any other information, which is you can just type it. Now let's go to the next step, quantity sold. Actually this information you cannot edit and also you can see shipping location, you cannot edit so you can skip it. And now here you can see the category, it may not fit with your website. So in this channel, you will find other tutorial where you can learn how to create a category. And then once you create the category, that category will be populated here and you can choose the category. But for this demonstration purpose, I'm gonna choose this existing one and here you can see the product description. This description actually came from eBay. Uh, sometime you may find that this description came very messy way and that could happen if the eBay supplier using a custom HTML template in that time here you may find very messy description. Then you can just delete all of them and just manually you can go to the eBay shop and copy it and paste it or you research about this product and you write it yourself. That's the best way to go. And now here you can see the variation and here all the variation automatically it set up the price and all these other matter. So now if you just click on add product, now this product came and also you can see the background is now become yellow. But when we imported the product, it was actually the red color. So yellow means that all the information needed, you actually provided all of them. Now it's ready to go in the shop. So simply if you click on active product, then this product became active. Now here you can see one new button appear. It's a product view. If simply you click on this, now here you can see the product is listed with all the necessary information, including the image as well as the description, item specification, all these things needed. So this is how you can import the product from eBay to your website. Of course, when you will start to use it in your practical life, you may have many other questions. So as I said earlier of this video, that if you do have any question, please do not hesitate to contact me directly. So now let's go back to the next point.